Ladies and gentlemen, this RedGamingTed.com video, we have some further information from a Nintendo. Now, as you guys may be aware, the Wii U has been selling fairly badly recently, despite the fact that Nintendo have indeed made some profits. However, things are definitely not happy in the Nintendo camp, and indeed... Nintendo of America have just gotten a new CEO, and he has started his reign with an apology. He begins by saying, and I quote, We feel deeply responsible for not having tried hard enough to have customers understand the product. He then goes on to mention about various titles, such as not acting giving captivating titles such as Wii Sports with the original Wii, which of course was enough fun to get pretty much even Grandma playing. Um, and then he goes on to mention about the control pad as well, and said that many people just assumed that it was just the original Wii with just better graphics, which in some ways I think is very true. Indeed, right now if you go on the internet and you talk to people, people are already very... And I'm talking people as in, you know, core gamers are very negative about the original Wii by now. We are moving on to new technology and many feel that Nintendo really didn't give us the console that they're really looking for in terms of power output. We wanted to see super high definition graphics and all of that kind of thing. It's not helped much by a fairly poor release schedule in terms of the games. Um, it took off fairly well at Christmas and so on. But there haven't been that many new software titles. And to reiterate, he is quoted in saying, As for the Wii U, it took off move smoothly on the holiday season, but due to lack of new software titles, we are unable to maintain the momentum this year. We initially helped the Wii U be showing more of a presence in the market by now, but the current situation shows that we need to spend more time on and put more effort into recreating momentum. There have been many issues that Nintendo are currently facing. This is out of quote, of course. Um, one of them is several games have been cancelled on the Wii U. A couple of developers, such as Epic, have said that there's no way in heck they can get the, their new engines working on the Wii U, at least properly, and that they're, they're simply not designed to work on the Wii U or any of this current generation hardware. One of the problems I think as well Nintendo are having right now is that the games are not only the problem, but developers themselves want to stretch their muscle. In other words, they look at the PlayStation 4, they look at the new generation Xbox, they look at the PC as well, of course, and they see massive potential. I mean, CryEngine 3, for example. And it doesn't really take a genius to work out that you simply cannot pull this off on the Wii U. Even if you say the Wii U is better hardware than the Xbox 360, it's certainly not the Xbox 720 or, say, the PlayStation 4. Many people believe that they created basically a system that was pretty much designed power-wise to keep up or slightly better the current generation. And with that, combined with, as he has said, poor relationship with the customers. One of the classic ones that I think many people continuously mention is very simple. And that would be when they said about the online gaming and how they didn't really think it was the focus right now, which I, I think everyone just scratched their head. I've mentioned this a couple of times, but it really just boggles my mind that you see even the original Xbox, which was released back in the day, and People were playing Halo, and Halo 2, of course, was immensely popular. And indeed, by the time, even, it took Gears of War to actually knock Halo 1 off the, or sorry, Halo 2 off the most played Xbox Live list, to give you an idea of how popular the damn thing was. And so, Microsoft were busy all this time, and Sony, of course, didn't really do the online gaming thing as well until the PlayStation 3. They did have some success with the PS2, but... It was it was spotty, you know, it wasn't that great. But PS3 pretty much hit the ground running with online gaming, and now they they just haven't really done that, I feel. I think that a lot of their core titles as well, like, for example, they didn't have a Mario, they didn't have a Zelda at launch. This is also hurting them. He has also said that there are many titles and release dates 
that are yet announced. At E3, we will disclose more specific information about these titles for the rest of this year and for early next year. What people really want to see is some really, really good original IP as well. I think that despite the fact that, of course, we do want new Mario games, we do want new Zelda games, and maybe even new Metroid or whatever, We'd also like to see some new IP as well, but it doesn't matter how good Nintendo's support is in reality, it needs to be mirrored by third party as well, so they really need to get their, their butt in order. The 3DS, meanwhile, is doing better. Um, it was off to a very shaky start, but now it's definitely starting to come into its own. They have had a series of software that's doing pretty well in Europe and the United States, such as, for example, Fire Emblem. Fire Emblem, I'm sorry, Awake, Awakening, I don't know what's going on with my voice suddenly, and Luigi Mansion, A Dark Moon, and those have been selling pretty well and helped to spur on the 3DS sales. Anyway, I think that's just about it for this particular video, hopefully you've enjoyed it, and I will see you soon, take care, and bye for now.